I'm gonna wash that doubt right out of my head. I'm gonna wash that doubt right out of my head and send it home to die. Woohoo! I'm gonna wash that doubt right out of my head. I'm gonna wash that doubt right out of my head. And I'm gonna see my dream. Wow. Ariel was right. You get that little raindrop feeling going like this little raindrop shower. It's so Get everybody fired up. Oh, man. Woo. It's going to be great. I got to talk about my little conversation about doubt. Hey, good morning, sunshine. How y'all doing today? Well, I guess I could wash my hair, huh? Listen, we got to talk. We have to talk about the conversation we were going to have yesterday about people who let doubt in. People who let their own self-doubt destroy them. You know, they're called monsters is what we let in when we let doubt it. There's four specific monsters I'm going to talk to you about today. And tomorrow I'll talk about the heroes. But the four monsters I'm going to talk about today are negative self-talk and negative talk for that matter. Because, you know, yesterday was Easter and we served over 300 people who needed to be served. In the beginning of the week, the conversation was, we can't do this. We can't have this. We didn't let doubt creep in. We found the people who had the vision, worked with us. And usually on Easter, we serve about 125 people. Over 300 yesterday, we distributed meals to. Now, what good would have been left out of the world if we let doubt take away our power? If we let that self-talk, that negative talk from outside come in and hurt us. But first one is negative talk. Second one is procrastination. I, uh, I had the opportunity to reach out to someone yesterday. I said, I said, hey, how are you enjoying the program? They said, well, you know, I haven't started yet. I've been, I've been sick. I, I haven't been feeling well. Well, this is a healing program. The foods, the mindset, the meditation, everything you've got that comes in this program is about healing and balancing the body. You've heard about maladaptation. We're reversing that maladaptation. I hope people post today all day how much difference the first week made. Because you know what? Sometimes we need that help from the outside to tell us that this can be done. We can succeed. This can go. The third one is distraction. Oh, boy. Do we have, do we have a lot of distraction going on now? You know, that, that's, that's one of my big challenges because I always have so many ideas running around in my head. That becomes a distraction to me. So I hope that you will focus in and take away that distraction. And you know, the other thing is, is when we talk about the final thing that's a monster, it's money worry. Boy, who of us? I, I, I know people, tremendously successful business people. I see them, I see them when, I, and, and when I get the opportunity to uh, go out and shop, and I look at them, I see the stress on their face, and I go like, how can that guy worry? He's got bazillions of dollars. Well, maybe this has been a blessing for all of us because it makes us think about the things that's really important in our lives. And part of our meditation should be just that. I'm sure Ariel has ground that point into you to get to the things that are important to you. My prayer life is focused around the things that are very important to me. So I want to tell you today, it's the second start of the second week. Tonight we have a, a, a webinar with, with Phil. I hope all of you are on there. I hope you will take your gratitude journal out and look at the things you were able to accomplish. And if you didn't start your gratitude journal this week, Heather, get on them, right? You know, Dr. Kristen, get on them, right? Did they not take you up on that thing? Do it for seven days. Do it for seven days, but start with the first. Let's not procrastinate. Look at the, look at the glory and the good and the happiness that you missed out on because you waited to start. Eat the food. Think the thoughts. Work the nine-minute routine coming up. You're going to learn this week about the lymphatic system. This is not a hard exercise program. Listen, if you're a chrysalis, because you guys are the ones most likely to procrastinate, because you don't know the hope and joy that you get out of doing this. If you're a chrysalis, and if you don't know what a chrysalis is, go back and do the starting up webinar from last Monday night. Sometime today, before you hear Phil tonight. Great things are abound in front of us, folks. 
Let's go get it this week. Let's go have a great time changing our lives. Listen to the doctors that we have on this seminar. Do the exercises. Eat the food. Be blessed. Because we're off to a great second week. And we're on our way to being successful more than you ever could imagine in your life. God bless. Have a great day from Tasso.